Carlos Yulo entered the men's floor exercise final of gymnastics as the top-ranked athlete, but wound up second to the last, no thanks to a daring routine he couldn't complete, to bomb out of a podium finish in the 18th Asian Games on Thursday night at the Jakarta International Expo here on Thursday. Nag Kamali Po admitted Yulo, the 2018 World Cup silver medalist, who finished seventh among the eight finalists. Yulo carried a front-running 14.500 score from Wednesday's preliminaries to the final, but failed to sustain fine form in his routine, committing a fatal error in execution to finish with 13. 500. He had a difficulty rating of 6.100 and an execution score of 7.400. That was a very difficult routine, said Gymnastics Association of the Philippines President Cynthia Carrion. But he should have gotten more points. Carrier had high hopes for Yulo, and so did top officials of the Team Philippines. Yulo was a medal potential, a gold at that, following his gold medal finish in the Doha World Cup, where he beat Rio de Janeiro Olympics champion Raya Heikado, pushing the Japanese to the bronze medal. But Yulo wasn't in his element when it mattered most, allowing Korea's Kim Hansol to frolic toward the gold with a 14. 675 score, Taiwan's Tang Chiaoping to the silver with 14.425, and China's Lin Xiaopan to the bronze with 14. 225 dot for the first time in the games, not even a bronze medal dropped into the Philippine coffers. The Philippines went without a medal for the first time since Sunday and fell to 18th spot in the medal tally board with one gold and five bronze medals. Elsewhere was bleak for the 272 athlete strong Philippine delegation. The Philippine bridge team, composed of Alberto Quayog, Joseph Roman Malawit Jr., Three Kong Tiang, Romulo Varola, Eliezer Cabanilla and Andrew Falcon, finished 10th overall during the men's team qualification round 7 with its overall score of 61. 74. Dot with the better place in 7th, but still out of the running, was the other Philippine bridge team of Gemma Malagras Mariano, Mary Christiane de Guzman, Victoria Egan, Francis Allen Tan, George Sue, and Francisco Alquiros in the Supermix team qualification round 5 with its 43. 85. Also coming up empty handed was Taekwondo Jin Arvin Alcantara, who absorbed a 526 beating at the hands of world number one in back to back 2010 at 2014 Asian Games gold medalist to Hoon Lee in the men's 68 kg quarterfinals. Lee was also the silver medalist in the 58 kg division of the 2012 London Olympics and the 68 kg category of the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics Sao Brazil. Prior to this, baby Jessica Cannibal also fell to Nahid Kiana Chanda of Iran, 15-23 in the women's 49 kg quarterfinals. In Palembang, a medal remained elusive for Filipino bowlers for the second straight day on Thursday. The ace team of Kenneth Chua, Merwin Tand, and Enzo Hernandez wound up in 10th place in men's trios at the Jacobering Bowling Center. Similar to their women's counterparts the previous day, the Filipino Troika couldn't cluster their big games together, combining for a six-game series tally of 41-34. 210 pins off the victorious Japanese triumvirate of Tomayuki Sasaki, Shogo Wada and Shusako Asado, with 43-44. Malaysia, 42-35, bagged the silver, narrowly relegating Singapore, 42-26, to the bronze medal at the sold-out bowling arena built specifically for this sports fest. The other Philippine squad of Joe Merjumapal, Kenzo Yamali, and Rahul Miranda combined for a meager 37-77, languishing in 27th place out of 33 teams.